Okay, so I'm here with Charles Bressler, who is pretty big on the downtown scene. I've seen you on Facebook and my friend's photos. You're a really, really cool person, and I want to talk to you about your project, Dream Maker. But before we do, I'm going to get you to draw the fortune cookie of the week. You don't have to eat it. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, you get to choose what the fortune will be for everyone to follow. Okay. So I just make up the fortune? No, there's oh. actually a fortune in there. Okay. So we're going to get our fortune cookie handler, oh. Alan. <laughs> Don't open it. And he's going to take the fortune from you. I feel like I, this is big and I should wish that I'm 30. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alan. <laughs> right now, you're doing this really cool thing, and it's hashtag Dream Maker. Right. So why don't you tell me what the hashtag is about and what the actual project is? Well, the hashtag is an accident that happened due to a series of events that were uh, how do you say this? Tr traumatic. Traumatic events. Oh, is that my... Yes, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Some traumatic events. And I thought, you know, if I don't find something positive to do, I'm going to sink into these things that are going on. And so I thought, I wonder if I could make people's dreams come true. If enough people could tweet me their dreams, enough of them I could help. And if that's true, there's a scalability to that. <laughs> and if yeah. that's true, then if we could create a hashtag that kind of grew and grew and grew, and one person helped one other person and two million people did it, then two million people would be getting help or four, I'm not good at math. So that's kind of the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So essentially you're trying to enable other people to help each other with their dreams since there's only one of you and if we can't unfortunately have a million clones of Charles. Well, so you, I'll still do it. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the thing. That's excellent. So you're developing an app, right? Tell me the story behind that. Well, I am not developing an app and I don't know how to develop an app and um, it scares me, to be honest. But I brought a bunch of downtown leaders that were here in this community together because first I had to prove it. So f I spent the first 90 days okay. uh, just focusing on helping people achieve what they're after. And in 90 days, I was able to help 33 people wow. who I've never met before. So now I know that you can do it. A lot of these dreams took me 10 minutes. So it's sort of like one of those things where you're like, okay, 10 minutes in an airport, and I can just connect this person with this person. So that's, that's sort of the functionality. I love this. Yeah, the app aspect came from Michael Cornthwaite um, and a bunch of other visionary people who I saw. I mean, Michael built a bar here <laughs> seven years ago with a vision, and that's it. And so I went to him and I said, what do you think I should do? And he said, you should build it into something that people can interact with each other. And then through a series of events, someone introduced me to David Hauser, who built Grasshopper. Right, that's huge. I don't really, yeah, <laughs> not the app guy, but, um, and then he connected me with this random man in Canada who's building it into an app. So that's what DreamMaker does. If you interact with it, it sort of makes your own dream come true at the same time without you really knowing it. what's happening. So it's like Tinder for dreams, right? Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's how the app will, the app will function that way, okay. I guess. Okay, excellent. Um, and actually, Tinder, you should totally help this <laughs> because it's right up your alley for dreams coming true. That sounds That's awesome. A shout out to Tinder. Hello, can we just get some Tinder help, please, <laughs> for DreamMaker? <laughs> None of these people are inspired by DreamMaker. I, I, I am <laughs> definitely inspired. Oh, good. And I think that people are probably a little bit sad that it's not out yet. So if people want to um, stay kind of hooked up with all the info and the updates, how can they contact you and stay in touch? Well, the first thing is that you should decide if you want to make a dream come true. And through my website at uh, charleswrestler.com, I have a functionality that says, one of my core competencies is friendliness. You should talk to me and my email address. So if you have an idea or you want to get involved in First Friday or any of the things that uh, I might be able to help in some way with, definitely reach out. If you want to help make dreams come true, reach out there. Uh, Twitter, tweet me your dream. It goes on a master list that's going to populate the app in the beginning and uh, make some dreams come true, people. It's this great. sounds amazing, right? Dream maker. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you know, Ellen DeGeneres was able to crash Twitter with a picture of 20 plus celebrities and a hashtag, right? She crashed the whole site. So you're gonna crash the dream maker? Well, think of what, think of the possibility of that, that the idea that 
just help one, two, or three people's dreams come true that are easy for you. And if that crashed Twitter, it would be a really different world that we're living in. I agree. Thank you so much. Thank That's you. Awesome. Also, in remembrance of 9-11, I gave this interview. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> just really close to my heart. So. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>